we live? Uh, we live. Seems good. Let's continue with space exploration. Wherein we just added this contraption to effectively convert uh, Arcosphere Epsilons directly into C on top of the balances that we already had. And seeing as we're always out of C, we're hoping that'll make a difference. Looks like Gamma is going to be the next one that might need the same treatment. We'll give it some time and look back on the graphs and see how it goes. In the meantime, um, we might want to add some more spaceships. Why is there only plate on this side? That's a lot of plate to only be on one side. I guess the bots prefer to go to the nearest... The nearest chests when there's hardly any Arcospheres available. Uh, Alright, let's head back to the mall. And I didn't... I did leave the floor train here. Back you go. Alright, worker robot speed 16 is jammed because we don't have Deep Space Science Pack 3, because we don't have Nassium, uh, Naquium Tesseract, because Arcospheres are slow. I don't know if we need to add any more Arcospheres uh, to make this happen, like to saturate effectively. I, I don't think the bottleneck will shift if we add some more, but there's no harm in finding some more Arcospheres, I guess. I mean, it is pretty expensive to do it, but it's not that big of a deal. Uh, what was I about to double check? What indeed? How are we doing for Holmanite? Saturated at the moment... Uh, Holmanite core fragment, consumption. Uh, it's pretty regular. I think... We might be getting a bit more area under the graph these days. But uh, we still probably have to add more spaceships. If we want to get that throughput. Yesterday we did expand uh, some of our Holmium outposts to get uh, to, to get more core fragments at the actual outposts. But considering how many we've got here, 118,000, uh, 149,000 and 65,000 just waiting to be picked up. Okay, 65k is not quite enough because it's spread out across uh, multiple train stops uh, that amount to what? 20 times 50 times 4. Uh, each train stop is 4k each and a lot of these are just pretty empty. So 65k is not actually that much. Sort of. Uh, but yeah, suffice to say, we are bottlenecking on having the spaceships actually come and pick up the core franks. I don't think we can do much better than the spaceship design that we've got. Not that I would want to go to the trouble of replacing them. Um... But this thing really does squeeze out absolutely everything it can from a certain sweet spot of being a smallish ship. With a relatively simple and compact power source. 
and defenses that are just barely not that demanding for the energy. What other bottlenecks can we shift today? What's the next bottleneck we should be shifting? I've been putting off spamming more spaceships because I don't want to tank the UPS that much yet, but maybe it really is about time we added some more. It's only just reached one train load, so... I don't know, it kind of looks like we might be catching up with the Holmium, but it's going to take a little bit of time to find out. That might be a bit optimistic. Yeah, there's already a train coming for this next load of cable. Where are you going with that? Up the elevator. Hmm. I'm honestly a little bit lost as to what to... <gasps> it's empty? It's empty. Hey! Well, that's... Okay, not as empty as I was hoping for. But we can go ahead and deconstruct everything but, say, the station. What about this one? Pretty much the same deal. Nice. Uh, I suspect there are some regular cargo rocket sections. Okay, yeah, there's like a chest full over here. So second one is still a little bit more full. But we can make a start deconstructing all of this stuff. Uh, why don't we grab... Hmm. I am the sky. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Uh, I was going to say, why don't we grab the short train, the trash train, to take a bunch of this stuff home. But I think that's going to be a lot of trips. Then again, it's going to take fewer actions. Let's go downstairs. Welcome, welcome in. Alright, first of all, we're going to drive you over here. And then... From one of these stops, I'm going to copy-paste the usual trash pickup station. And I think we'll just put it here. Um, and... Is it okay if I just request the entire logistic network contents? I think so. Yeah. So we're just going to take this wire right here, connect like so, don't really care if that's enabled or disabled. Uh, and we're just going to read logistic network contents, set requests, and go. And that'll take from there in no time. Okay. Meanwhile, we can get started deconstructing this whole place. Actually, I guess we can use... I think there's construction bots in this network. There's actually a lot of construction bots in this network for some reason. Uh, so they'll pick things up. It'll go straight into the robot network. And it'll end up getting spirited away. Oh, don't take, don't, don't deke on the train. That would be bad. All right, use the right filters here. And 
these are unfiltered? Yeah, that should be fine. How many Logibots do we have here? 50? 27? Uh, that's a little bit slow. No, the machines are still building stuff. Uh, whatever. Just make sure these ones stop. We'll send all this miscellaneous crap back to the mall. Why don't I just stop the machines? That makes sense. Tune, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. L raid on lonely tea hacks? I mean, I started a few minutes early with no warning, so... Welcome in, Jamort. Dune, I hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. How's your stream today? It's still very hot here. But I'm a little bit more... I'm a little bit better prepared today. Although I have run out of caffeine, that's a bit terrifying. The SE grind of building science, oh so fun. Oh, it's a lot, isn't it? And then you're just going to have to refactor it later on. Even if you really wanted to build stuff uh, for like final version from the beginning, you don't have access to the advanced machines for a good while. All right, so it's going to take a little while. That brought a chuckle, thinking of refactoring everything. <laughs> Indeed. Been refactoring quite a lot. I mean, for all of the big builds that we made before, uh, we're pretty sure that just two or maybe even four machines for Holmium Cable is going to be enough in the end. Is this the murdering of an old build? Uh, yes. It, it is a... It's, it's a build for cargo rocket sections. The only place we need cargo rocket sections anymore is for making space probe rockets. Uh, and we just cram that into this little... What's the bot equivalent of spaghetti? I mean, we tried to make it as neat as possible, and it all fits under one beacon with some direct inserts and stuff, but still, it's a bit of a cluster. Uh, but yeah, this thing right here is only for unpacking old... Uh, cargo rocket sections. Um, we're never going to need them again except to make these uh, space probe rockets. Uh, but yeah, been waiting a long, 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 long time for these two blocks to empty out. Which they've mostly done. I mean, there's only a few passive providers left in here. Uh, passive provider containers with cargo rocket sections. But there's still an awful lot of packed cargo rocket sections uh, waiting to be picked up. Welcome in, Arkale. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Sad hearing that. I've almost finished my infinite reusability of rockets. I mean, you don't have to stop using rockets, I just prefer to stop having them crash all the time. Also, they need an obscene amount of uh, liquid rocket fuel, especially with the K2 uh, patterns for making liquid rocket fuel, which need 
pretty obscene numbers of machines. Uh, where is our build for SRF these days? Here's one. Uh, with the higher tier modules, we made we managed to get it down to a relatively small build. Although this, of course, is not showing. Oh, this is just the light oil version. That one's a bit less egregious. Um, but yeah, it takes ludicrous amounts of oxygen to support the solid rocket fuel. Uh, and liquid rocket fuel is just converted from that, right? Oops. Let's see. Wait, no, how do we make... Yeah, yeah, solid rocket fuel becomes liquid rocket fuel. I think I've actually still got a planet out there that I keep forgetting to clear out. I can even remember where it is. Oh, I know. Factory search. Entity. Cargo. Rocket silo. No? We did get rid of it. Really? Uh, it was definitely a Immersium planet. Wasn't Corsal. Uh, why did none of these? Oh, I guess they no longer have the the flag. If we cleared everything, was it Erebus? God, I don't even know anymore. I actually can't remember. I, I thought we didn't uh, clear out that old base. I think it was one of the planets close to the sun. No? Not Corsal. In one of the local systems. I have completely forgotten. Hmm. Uh, why don't we go product liquid rocket fuel? Oh, I didn't search all surfaces, that's why. That might take a little bit longer. Granis? No, Budkai, that's the one. There it is. Yeah, if you... If you use the recipe where you can turn mostly water into... Uh, solid rocket fuel. It takes an awful number of machines to support it. I'd much rather make antimatter. Anyway, looks like we're pretty much done clearing this out for now. Um, well, I guess we can just wait until... Wait until there's no solids left in this robot network, and then we'll come back and just decon all of it. Not up to antimatter yet? No, it, yeah, it takes a while, of course. Antimatter is extremely energy dense, and for what it is, it's very, very cheap. Uh, I guess we don't want to get rid of that yet. I guess I could start making preparations to empty this block out in the same manner. There we go. But... Yeah, no, that's fine. Well, why don't I... Take this, put this here, get rid of, no, don't, get rid of the last of the cargo rocket sections that are lying around. And then once 
since we're sure we've done that. Are there are only like two logi... There's one logibot here. For some reason. Uh, I'm not sure how that happened. Almost midnight here. Have fun. Alright, take care, June. Thanks for dropping by. Have a good, uh... Have a good snooze. Yeah, we still actually... Oh, the bot's going back to recharge. Okay, I could just grab this, right? Alright. Logistics storage 502. What? Where are they? Oh, we're making them up here. Still. No, stop. 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 Stop! We did switch this off ages ago, right? Yeah. And go ahead and pick that up. Uh, and these chests are unfiltered. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, what are these called again? Cargo rocket sections. 500? Where do we have 500 of these and why aren't they getting delivered? Because the bot's trying to deliver other things. Uh... Please kill all of these requests. Okay. So where the hell are these being stored? I don't get it. I guess I could just... A blacklist on this for ca cargo rocket section and packed negative a million and then set requests we've already got uh, and then we just need to connect this to the robo port to read the logistic network contents. Gonna need a lot more Logibots though. Red chest, fourth row. Red chest, fourth row. Oh, right. I forgot we put them in here. Oh, no. That might be a lot. Regardless, we'll go get some more Logibots. So that can empty out automatically. Uh, the system will still ha uh, hard prioritize this one because it's a vanilla schedule. It'll just go for the nearest one. All right, give me some Logibots. And you can have these back. Probably shouldn't be leaving space platform plating here, but whatever. Okay. Once we drop off... What the? Once we drop off these logi bots... We'll just have to give it some time. Uh, I guess since there's already one, I want to be a little bit careful there. Cool. And does this already have 50? It does not. But I think we've got enough here already. We're bottlenecking on having the train remove this stuff. 
That's fine. Uh, do we have some construction bots here? We do. Quite a lot, actually. Not sure why. Let's get rid of the machines. And we'll check back here later on. Uh, I did not mean to pick all that up. Get out of here. Sure. Shoot. Be gone. Alfida Zane, goodbye. Rouse. Alright, that... Why do I have quantum supercomputers? Regardless, that'll do for now. Our next target should be... what exactly? I'm seeing Holmium... oh, that's just about to run out. I was gonna say I'm seeing Holmium plate in here quite a lot. Holmium cable production. Line go down. It's actually... Last half hour, at least, it's been almost... It's been like 90% uptime or something like that. That's actually pretty good. How many modules have we been making lately? Module... Another 13 prods. 20 speeds and 15 efficiencies. Very good. Uh, I think I... Why did I get rid of the chest that was requesting them? It was a very convenient spot to check on these things. We don't have any here. Okay. What am I carrying? 35, 42, and 25. Cool. Is there anything that we really desperately want to prod 9 right now. Holmium would be a good idea, but we need like... Uh, what is it again? 12... Uh, 24, 48 per block. We could... Let's do the leftmost uh, Holmium core fragment build. The ships seem to like to land on the left if it's available. So let's put prod 9s in the one that we know that's going to be always active. Actually, come to think of it, it's always the middle one. Uh, the, the two on the outside are always active, and it's always the middle one that has some downtime. Not sure why that is. Maybe it's the order that these were placed or something. In any case, uh, where am I going? Oh, we just teleported here. Let's grab some prods. Leftmost will be fine. And... We only need 48. Only. Pretty sure we have more than enough speed and efficiencies. For what we want to do right now. Look at that. More than a stack of Productivity 9 modules. Beautiful. Alright, downstairs we go. Just as soon as we recharge. Boop. And boop. And spooter. Let's head on over to this build. Oh, I forgot to replace the charger for this guy. Because we were doing some robot shenanig- oh no. Uh... It's a little late. Uh, we might make the return trip, running full speed. 
maybe. Maybe, maybe. It's like iridium core frags are saturated. How are we doing for ingots? Iridium ingot production. It's a bit wavy. Why is it so imbalanced? Half belt, full belt from both sides, half belt. The consumption should be symmetrical. I don't get it. Is it going to eventually just be completely lopsided? Is that going to be an issue? So both sides get consumed by this lot. Left side gets consumed by left side. Right side gets consumed by right side. There's the same number of machines on each side, and they're all beaconed. Oh, hey, we haven't put beacon twos here yet. That's an easy upgrade. I'm sure it'll shift a bottleneck somewhere else, though. Anyway, before we lose sight of why we came here, prop nines for everyone, and speed nines. And then we're just going to add a few efficiencies until we stop having a terrible, terrible, no good, bad ratio for power to performance. All right, so what's the rate? So the productivity uh, bonus goes up from 56% to 80% at the first step. That's pretty good. And the actual speed, though, instead of consuming 82.8 per second, we can now do 132. Which is a... It's probably like half, or more than half of all the core frags we're able to produce, actually. Um, but what about belts? Oh. Wait, what? Yeah, I was going to say, I forgot where the direct belts were. Because we decommissioned uh, this old stuff. Where is that even going? Nowhere? It's probably a good time to pick this stuff up. Thought some of the bots from the other networks would jump in. And one more. All right. Good to see the back of that mess. Um, but just to double check, so each side is capable of 95 Holmanite per second, and we've got two belts coming out of here, direct belting into a nearby block, so I don't think that's going to be a problem. Uh, how fast do we consume it over here? Only 55 per second.
Um, I, do we need to speed this up yet? 55, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. I really just put the speed nines here, not here, here. Because I didn't want to have to remember to come back and put them in later if these are already prog 9. Ninety five per second versus fifty five per second. That's a pretty severe bottleneck, and maybe we'd have ships bringing holmium core frags more often if we eat them faster. Even if we don't add more ships. So why don't we try speed modules in here? Uh, and we'll just throw in whatever number of efficiencies we need to support prod 6, which is probably the same, honestly. Seven efficiencies? It is. It's the same. So this is finalized already. So how much, uh, holmium can you eat now? 97.6 per second. Damn. Uh, that's kind of fast. Actually, we produced 95 per second over here, and this eats 97. That's kind of perfect. So we're just barely not going to saturate Holme uh, uh, Holmanite. Holmanite should always drain out, assuming we're consuming it down the line. And if we're producing enough to start saturating on ingots and plate, all the better. Obviously, that w that part would saturate. How many how many more prods do I have? Only seven. Hmm. Well. This would be the next obvious step to get our productivity multipliers perpetuating through the production chain. But uh, yeah, that'll give us a pretty decent chunk of extra Holmanite, which I think is still our main material bottleneck. Speed is going to be a bit slow now. Oh, actually, I should tell the Spooder to park where it can get recharged. Cool. Our next item on the agenda is what, I wonder? I hope we've got a bit of a speed up in the production rate of Tesseracts by now. Tesseract production, last 10 minutes, last hour, last 10 hours. It was nothing for a while. It's only the last hour and a half that it started up again. Not sure why that is. It's really too soon to say, but I don't think we're making the Tesseracts uh, significantly faster than we were before. But it might just be because we're playing catch up on these other data cards that we weren't making for a little while. Oh yeah, we're actually storing quite a lot of them. Uh, so we're just keep wait. Yeah, we're going to keep going until the space injection data fills up the purple chests. That's actually 
quite a lot more storage than I realized was here. No wonder it's taking so long to, uh, to settle down. How much Deep 3 do we have stored up? Almost a train load. Cool, cool, cool. Do we need to wait for another train of Tesseracts, though? It's only four per Tesseract. Oh, six per Tesseract. That's rough. So this is like 66. Yeah, we're, we're, we're waiting on one last train load of Tesseracts, I think. Okay. What should we do with an unknown bottleneck? I never did put a tag here. This is Krynak. Four francs. Oh, and Krynite is saturated as hell. That's what we like to see. Fantastic. How about Beryl? Beryl's looking pretty good. Still moving, but judging by how many ingots are stacked up on the belt, I doubt we're having a problem here. Oh yeah, we were going to buff the... Iridium ingots, and then see where the bottleneck ends up. Uh, I might just let Spidey recharge for now. Let's borrow this train. Which is surprisingly... Oh. Oh. That's... No, no wonder I caught you. No, stop. Could, could you stop? Please. Stop, stop. Come back. Okay. All returns should be wait till empty. Uh, in that case, I'll borrow a different train. So we're already carrying Y2 and some speed and efficiencies. Uh, honestly, I think just putting a wide two here for the moment uh, it's going to be enough of a buff to the ingots to shift the bottleneck. 130 iridium blast cake per second. And this thing can do 84. This makes no difference. Uh, I could wide beacon to these two. That should do the job. Okay. Uh, wide beacon two. And since we only have two prod modules in these machines... Uh, I imagine it's going to be something like eight or nine efficiencies. It's eight. So we've got 55.3 blast cake per second, 216 powder in. Versus 42.3. Oh. Can the belts actually handle it though? Uh, so what are we doing here? I guess it's 15 per second... Per column of enriched vulcanite, which only needs 2.7 per second, 
And we should have... Uh, that's not a calculator. Uh, 75 per second on the belt for the powder. Which only needs 54 per second. So the math says that the powder should be making it to the end of this uh, over here, but that's not what we're seeing. Oh, because there's no, we're not, there's not enough powder coming through, that's why. Uh, but yeah, the math says if we have powder, all these machines should be active. That seems okay. Uh, and we know that output is slow enough for the belts. So, what about the powder? That comes from here. Crushed goes in, powder comes out. That does not have a beacon too. Um, does this spit out... Spits out crushed as a byproduct. So we don't care about that as long as... Yeah, no, we don't care about that. 179 powder per second. Um, I think we built this for tier 9s. With all these belts. That's a very neat way to do the... Crisscross. Um, so regardless, at the moment we're looking at... 180 powder per second times 2, 360. And this is asking for 432. Alright, so that's our next bottleneck to shift. And presumably, if we go through and beacon to everything over here, maybe we'll find that we're not bringing in enough iridite core fragments. Or maybe we will. Oh, these are still using tier 3 modules. And we've got loads of ingots. I think we need to speed these up because I'm always seeing this station struggle to fill up with Iridium Plate. Because there's always trains coming for it. Alright, Beacon 2. Here. And here. Do we need a beacon too for the other one? Uh, you know what? We can pretty much take beacon twos and tier six modules for granted right now. I'd rather not come back later and say, why didn't I put a beacon two there? Okay, so these are all just four prod sixes. Should be 50-50. No? Minus 80%. It, it's actually 11 and 9. So how much did that change? 258 powder per second. That will be enough to saturate. Cool, cool, cool. And do we actually need to upgrade this any further? Whatever, let's just do it. Six is a cheap. Five hundred. Same ratio. Well, cool. I don't want to even take the time to do the math for that one. Okay, 
So we're looking at 516 powder per second. This can eat 432. How much crushed do we actually need to support this? Uh, 327 per second. Or 163 for a single block. This is only 107. I fear the ratio is not going to line up the same way that it used to. Okay. Let me out. Uh, give me a beacon two. Give us the golden ratio. Minus 80%. Crafting speed, 6.9. But these are different. Advanced chemical plants. Uh, I guess I'll just double check. Yeah, it should still be the same energy ratio. Are the belts going to be able to keep up with this? Didn't actually check that with the last build. Okay, so... 155 per second. And this eats 163. That's not too bad. It'll be more favorable with a higher tier... I tier prod 9s. I'm pretty sure we balanced this for tier 9 modules. Let's see. Input is iridite only. This double column uh, is only looking for 50 per second. So belt wise that's not a problem. And output uh, output is like 50 per second between the two. Yeah, I don't think we're going to have issues with any of that. Alright, on to the next one. Can I, like, copy-paste like this? Are they going to swap in the right... These already have twos. Also, the ratio is a little bit wrong. Huh. Can't believe I left that unfinished. Minus 80%. Minus 80%. Okay. So let's see. 155 per second. Times 2 is 310, and this is looking for 327.5 per second, that's not too bad. Uh, what about feeding iridite into this stuff? We're looking for 397.4 per second. I don't think these uh, drop-offs can support that. I stand corrected. Yeah, that's not actually a problem at all. Cool. So that'll give us a bit more iridite, assuming we even need it. Uh, whoa, don't kill me. That said, I would like to make sure we don't have to worry about this. Plus 400, minus 80. Do we even need this many machines? I guess we can find out.
I'm almost out of speed modules for now. Well, not for now, for now. They're, I can just go back and get them. But more to the point, this can convert 14.5 ingots per second. Uh, wait, that doesn't sound right. No? Four, yeah, 14.6. But the... Oh, it's already saturated. Wow, that didn't take long. I'm okay with this, though. I much prefer to see this saturated than constantly striving to catch up with the trains. Uh, and the total for how many ingots we can produce is higher than I thought, 22.2 per second. Oh, and these two haven't still haven't been upgraded. Where's our train? Oh, it's in range. Nice-oo. Okay, so nine speeds should be the magic number. No, uh, for this one it is 50-50. Because there's five prod mods. Okay, so now we're looking at... 30... Almost 36 uh, ingots per second. Wow. Wow. That's a lot faster than I was expecting. We can't even eat all the ingots at once if we want to turn them into plate on the ground. Not that we need to, because some of the iridium ingots go upstairs. Uh, so how fast can this eat? Blast cake is 2.11 per second. I don't think we can make that much. No, not even close. We can make 110.6 per second, theoretically. But now if we look here, we'll get a much quicker idea of how we're doing for Iridium. The fact that the plates saturated that quickly was a little bit bonkers. And if we see the belts actually backed up with uh, Blast Cake, At any given time, we'll know for a fact that we've got plenty of Iridium. Cool. Been putting that off for a little while. Let's head back to the mall. Bluesy Jungle, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. What's that flashing? Oh, this again. Maybe I really should redesign it so the bots never end up hovering like this. So we need to change the chest colors. You could double blast cake production as you're making roughly half of what that needs. Yeah. I don't know if we need that many uh, iridium ingots anytime soon, though. And I would have to, like... Well, let me just double check this again. So, 516 powder per second versus 432. Yeah, we, we, we'd need to go back and, like, double almost everything to support this build as it is right now. But I don't think we need that many Iridium ingots, so I'd rather just leave it as it is. Okay. So these are only passive providers so that we know what we've got by listening to the robot network. Um, 
Um, I could make them green chests and make all of these requesters. And then don't request from green chests. And then these won't be purple chests. And then the bots won't try to deliver even when there isn't room. Might be the way to go. Green chests. Uh, I've already got requesters, right? No? Wherefore art thou requesters? Um... And what? Passive providers? But then these aren't going to be filtered. No, 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 that's fine. Um, all right, let's give it a shot. So first things first, all of these become uh, buffer chests, but without any actual requests set on them. And these two. Whoops. Uh, and then these all become requesters. And they're just going to request a full chest, but not from buffer chests. That's force of habit. Otherwise the bots will just loop endlessly. Okay. Glass. Uh, and these two are just going to be passive providers. Alright, so for example... This becomes a requester... For bearing... 2400... Uh, and no matter how much is here... Well, I guess we're not going to see an example of it right away, but... Oh, no, we are, because of the belt bottleneck. So now we're not having bots, like, hover without having room to actually drop off the heavy bearings. Yeah, that's definitely better. It is going to take a little bit of work. Oops. Just adding all the requests for these things, though. Which is this? Heavy assembler. Assembly. Um, so we've done these. Four. Next is heavy composite. This is Epoxy. Are all of these stack size 50? They are. Copy paste. It's not too, too difficult. Scrub. Uh, home cable. And gotta. Cool. So right side's finished. And we've done copper plate, glass, and nothing else. Uh, 
4800. For the stack size 100 things. Is there anything else that stack size 100? Yes, there is. And I think that's it, though. Alright, let's do the 200s. Thousand six hundred. What's this supposed to be? Fifty. Uh, you're one hundred. Two hundred. Two hundred. What's this? Uh, Iridium Plate is 1920. Twenty four hundred. Kind of lost track of which ones I've done. This one doesn't have a request yet. What are you? 2400. Filters, 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 filters. Ninety six hundred, twenty four hundred, and I think this is the last one, uh, which apparently we already did. All right, just double check that all of these have filters. This one does not. Green circuits. Filters, filters, filters. Alright, I think that's all of them. Alright, that was a little bit annoying to type it all out, but considering how much smoother the bot behavior is, and that they don't all try to pile on one specific resource that they can't fit, I'll just move on to the next thing until room appears for whichever resource. Wait, did I set this wrong? 4.8k. No? Okay. I'm a little con... I, I know I stopped them from behaving... Uh, from doing their jobs for a minute, but I'm a little bit concerned about how much is backed up here. It's not actually that much. Alright, we'll, we'll give it a minute and come back and see if the bots have caught up. I, d I see no reason why they shouldn't. What's next? Still got all these military tech cards. We're already trying to belt them away. Uh, why don't we switch over to some kind of military research? As I recall, we weren't exactly having trouble... ...getting that stuff spent. Right, as long as we're not doing deep space pack threes, that should go smoothly. For a minute. Oh, never mind, we have the deep space pack threes. I must have interrupted the robot speed just now.
It's fine. So how long will this actually take? We need to go through another... 20-something thousand. At three per second. So like, in the ballpark of 7,000 seconds? Almost two hours. Really? Almost two... Wait, no, productivity bonus. We, this is how much we consume per second. Which is... To clarify, that is our goal, to be able to do that. But we're actually getting like 2.85... Times. 3.15 per second. So it's closer to 9 science per second. So more like... 13 minutes. Game time. To finish that research as long as we've got items. That's not too bad, I guess. But if we're only consuming three military tech cards per second, it's going to take a while for this to empty. We did already kill the requests. Okay, I guess we'll check back later on. Coronal mass ejection headed for Budkai. ETA 10 seconds, or is it 10 minutes? Um, Bud Budkai. What? It's a planet. I don't remember if we put a protector here. Oh, yep, here it is. An umbrella. It'll, Budkai will be fine. Not that we need it to be. Okay. Um, is this empty? Basically, yes. Let's crank up the priority and get rid of the last train load here. Where's it going to go? Where do solenoids go? On the ground. Uh, pretty much nowhere. Okay, forget that. LTN, you are out. Because I, I only want full train loads going up the... Uh, space elevator. We'll borrow the... Why don't we just borrow the decon train to pick this up? Actually, did I set that to inactivity? I did. So... Why don't you pick most of this up while you're here? And we'll come back for the big container. Are we full? We are full. Okay, that's just rude. I guess I'll just leave him to it. Come back again. Dino cutie butt, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Another dinosaur, indeed. 
Hope you're having a good time today. Not supplied by new system. Uh, are we already bringing... No, we're supposed to make AI cores here. Uh, what are we looking for? Quantum processors, bioelectric, and advanced neural gel. I think the advanced neural gel is going to be a pain. Um, but I'm pretty sure we're already, yep, we're already bringing that other stuff downstairs. It's a lot of quantum processors. Um... Okay, first things first. Well, I don't really th think we need more than one train bringing down the advanced neural gel, right? Where's that little exchange? Here it is. I could add one of those over here, but I'm pretty sure there's only one consumer on the ground for advanced neural gel. AI core. The rest of this stuff happens in space. Uh, I guess technically there's med pack 4, but I don't care about that. Yeah, it's literally just AI core. So we could probably just leave that as it is. I might move the station slightly. Um, and we can just have an LTN train for uh, train stop for these two. What? That one lines up properly. So this spot right here. It's where we want to put a LTN stop. Okay. Uh, who is... Is there... Are there construction bots here? There are. Where are you putting that stuff? Are you just hovering? Okay. Frickin' hoverbots. Give, give it back. Uh, so all we need here is to know the contents of these containers. Make this a requester. And we're requesting... Quantum processors and I believe it's bioelectric data going into advanced assembly machine. Out comes AI core. And then we'll just do uh, quantum. And bioelectric. Alright. Train should be on the way shortly. Feels a bit tacky leaving this station as it is, but I'm pretty sure we don't need that much throughput for it. Oh. Oh yeah, we were going to make matter stabilizers here. Um, there's no need. Let's get rid of these. And was, was this also supposed to be matter stabilizer? Where is this coming from? Yeah, it was, it was. Yeah, we're not, we're not doing this anymore. I can just get rid of these. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, and I guess we could add some more AI core if necessary. But I'm pretty sure we don't need that much. 18.72... Can we get a beacon two here? I don't think the train is in range. Still missing the bioelectric data because we're not unloading these fast enough. Wait, I thought I only requ Oh no. No, they stacked to 50. Didn't I- I only requested 5,000. One train load. So how did we immediately deliver two train- Uh, two train loads of this stuff. Or I guess we didn't actually. It's still unloading. That's fine. Uh, anyway, what's our, what's our rate of consumption of AI core? Last 10 hours. 0.1 per minute? Last 50 hours is 20 per minute. Okay, so if this thing can do... 1.12k per minute. Yeah, I, I think this is a lot more than we need. In fact, maybe I should have, like, just one machine... And we could prod nine it. But the ingredients aren't that precious. And the demand is very, very low for AI cores. So I don't think that's exactly my highest priority. Just enough to double check the ratio. Okay, so AI cores is fixed. Why do we have this other... Oh, that was the output for matter stabilizers. So we don't need this. Alright, cool. All fixed. Much better. Okay. Who's next? The old scrap recycling. Uh, this really doesn't need to be so far away from... So far away from... Where the scrap comes down the space elevator. Also, we could use higher tier modules. What's our rate for scrap over the last 50 hours or something? Uh, regular scrap, consumption... 5.9k per minute. This thing's already capable of almost 10k per minute. And now you have a free half block, indeed. Zinder, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Names? Uh, I don't know. I, I might end up using this space for something else. I'm going to put names where I'm definitely not going to do something like that. Okay. Um, why don't we... Why don't we do a final build for scrap? Delete all of this. And...
I wouldn't be shocked if we can handle it with one machine. With the way many of our other builds have been transforming. So if we had, for example, recycling facility, uh, scrap recycling, and then how many solids to come out for? I wonder if we could simply one. Is that too close together? Probably. I think I'd want to move this back a couple of tiles anyway, so we can put the signals in a sensible spot. Uh, anyway. One... I could actually put these super close together, I th think? Where are my signals? Yeah. Yeah, that could work. Why are these further apart? Because that goes there. That is compact. Uh, these are actually literally right next to each other. So I wouldn't have room to do what I was originally thinking of. What's our max rate? If we put tier 9 speeds and use a compact beacon, it's going to be ever so slightly slower than uh, if we use a wide beacon too. For the same power ratio. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Plus 1400%. Plus 700. 103 kilowatts. And then minus 80 puts it down to 20. I, I, I could definitely live with 103 kilowatts. But anyway, that is crafting speed 11. And that's 20 modules. We could save 10 modules and have crafting speed. It's 103 kilowatts. What the? Uh, crafting speed 11, actually. Sure. Anyway, how fast is that? Per minute? Oh, it's only 660 scrap. That's actually a bit slower than I was expecting. I'm a little sad. I was kind of hoping to... to fit this all in one little spot. If we use a wide beacon and do... Uh, oh, this is output for the oil. Do it something like this. We're still looking at only 1.9k per minute, which is maybe not enough. Also, we need somewhere for the oil to go, but I guess it could go here. But yeah, we're not doing a... We're not doing a little tiny build. The scrap processing. We'll jam it all under one beacon. Don't tell me we're going to end up building the same thing. I don't think we need this many machines, though, is the thing. Like, this is already a lot faster than we need, and it's got tier 3 modules in it. So, probably like 
don't bother trying to squeeze in triple columns. For solids, we need four output stations, right? All the more reason to do it in one block. One whole block. I think it's going to end up being very similar. We just might not spam quite so many machines. Don't need old power poles. Um, oh, I see. We've got like a couple of smart unloaders or loaders rather. I don't think we need to do that. I think we can make something a bit more train stop friendly. It'll load the trains faster. Probably will end up doing this kind of filter intersection. This goes up here. Seam over this way. Let's just delete all of that. Gonna do the same thing on each side. All right. If these are high tier modules, how many do we need? What? Oh, sure. Alright, so this is... forgot to do the ratio. Plus 1400. Plus 700. 103 kilowatt each, that's fine. Crafting speed 11. 8000 scrap per minute. And last 50 hours, we're looking at 6k per minute. Last 10 hours, about the same. Last, five, last one hour is only 5k. Alright. If our target is like 10k, just to be safe... We're looking at, like, 16 machines. I don't think we need 10 on each side. Sorry, 12. Mm. Can we do this a bit neater somehow? Could do the oil on the outside. Okay, 
kind of want the scrap input to be down the middle. Per second, 88. That's one belt. Perfect. I guess it would still be pretty neat to have one of these. On second thought, I kind of want to use loaders. So I'll just do the input like this, I guess. Where are my purple splitters? Alright. You can face this way. How fast is this again? 5.28 scrap per minute. Thousand. Dylan, Mithri, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Alright. So like this, this is going to end up being easy to look at. And same but different over here. And then going to be plenty of room this time. So we're going to duplicate this on the other side. Um, not that one. And output stations are going to be like so. That, that doesn't go there. Okay. Uh, and whichever resource is slowest will be attached to heavy oil. That's going to be rare metals. Raw rare metals. So I think we'll do like iron, copper, stone, raw rare metals. I could move all of this up a little bit. Don't see why not. And then we can comfortably fit huge tank, a single huge tank to pump into the train, which is going to be a lot faster. Then, I guess we can just do long trains only to pick this stuff up. Use splitters. Alternatively, why does it lag like that when, you, when we come out of the editor? No, it, it, we should use all the storage space here since these are going to be taking byproducts. We want to allow short trains to take this stuff. Does Do short trains ever pick up iron, copper, stone, or raw rare metals? Pretty much no. Oh. 
Are you joking? We already did this? I... I don't trust my brain anymore. I guess I should have just searched for... Uh, ingredient scrap. Let's go pick this stuff up. On the plus side, I don't have to spend any more time designing that. So this one's pretty much empty, right? Hmm. We've obviously got less than a trainload of whatever these are. Can we get a train? Apparently not. I wanted to make sure it gets the last of this iron and or copper. Uh, okay, how about this then? We'll borrow a certain train. Actually, uh, no, we need bulk rail unloaders. Don't want to steal the construction bots. I, I guess I'll borrow an LTN train. Apparently the LTN trains are very busy. Apparently they're very, very busy right now. Yeah, it seems like we need some more. Alright, well, we'll do that as well. And I need to hydrate. Give me a minute. Right, sorry about that. In go the uh, equipment. 
spilled a little bit of water where my mouse goes. And we have another LTM train. And for its first mission, I'm going to send it over here. Wait for full cargo. And once it's done that, drop off iron ore over here, please. Wait for empty. And then we'll bring it back again. Uh, I might have to manipulate the inserters over here, though. Why don't we just do that before the train even gets here? Instead of set filters, we're just going to whitelist iron ore. Where is our train? Here it comes. That's not it. Uh, did, did I accidentally send it down here? No. Is this our train? No. Why is this taking so long? Here it is. Oh, probably because its batteries hadn't charged yet. Yeah, so it's not getting the benefit of the advanced additional electric engines right now. How long does it take to charge? Uh, a little bit. That actually does take a while. Well, it's not that long, but I have a feeling that since our trains have been going flat out, maybe they're not actually getting a chance to fully recharge, which is making them run slower, so we've got a spiral of slowness. Maybe. Alright, that's all the iron. Go drop it off. And then immediately come back here for the copper. And then we'll change the temp stop. There's way less than a trainload of copper here. Otherwise the LTN would have cleared it out. Um, we should get rid of this heavy oil as well. Can we at least... Oh, there's a bunch of trains over here. but they're not parking for very long. I mean, the fluid wagons are. Alright, let's go... wait for inactivity... and then we need to drop it off at a... consumer... why did we just search all surfaces? Consumer of heavy oil. Right, right that'll do. Here comes our train. And... Go here, wait till empty. Did you already fill up? No. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, so that should be... 24k left. Yeah, that should be able to take all of it. Alright, where's our other train, I wonder? Should be on the way back. I don't see it, though. Oh, don't tell me it went back to LTN. Because I didn't shuffle the schedule order around. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it would have gone back to LTN. So, let's steal this one.
And we're going to drop this off at copper. Wait till empty. And then I guess you can go back to LTN. Steal this one. Start doing the same thing on the other side. You're still pumping. Good morning. Own Galaxy, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Uh, where do we drop off raw rare metal? We could turn it into matter. Or we could drop it off over here. There's plenty of room. Evil Plow, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Uh, you're waiting your turn. Okay, so... Raw rare metals go over here. Wait till empty, and then go back to LTN. Uh, and we finally found you. You're already pro fully programmed. AT hacks and chat. Hey, hey, evil plot. Alright, uh, and then we just need, well, first of all, I need to set this to raw rare. And then once we get rid of that, I'll change it to stone, or just remove the settings. Uh, and we need one more LTN train. To pick up the stone. Are you... Are you done? Done to the dregs. Okay. Hmm... We at least have a decent unload for the uh, load up for the heavy oil. Alright, that's all the copper. Fantastic. There's no scrap here, definitely not. Heavy oil just keeps getting slower and slower. I don't think I care enough to wait for like 17 heavy oil. Let's just go. And you're also waiting. So this one's going to be stone. Where's our best consumer of stone? To drop this off out. That's to make rail. Uh, I want it to be balanced at this one. That one also doesn't merge and split properly. I guess we could just chuck it into matter. Why not? All right. Where is the stone one? Way down here. Wait till empty. And we're done with the rare metals. And here comes the stone. We can finally decon this block. Where is our decon train? Has it finished doing what it was doing? Yes and no. 
Well, it should be able to one-shot emptying out this block in any case. I guess I could just set this to wait for inactive. And then... Command Steacon. All of this as well, please. Rail stubs, be gone. And I think that's actually all of it. This obviously doesn't need to still be here. Can we reach over here as well? Seems that way. We still need that power pull. Uh, I guess so. Oh, this is an old uranium mine. We can get rid of that too. How much room have we got left? Probably enough. Wait here for inactivity. And that block is finally gone. Fantastic. Uh, this block is stealing... Stealing our thunder. It'll sort itself out. Already emptied the sulfuric acid here. Oh, that didn't take long. I could probably get rid of, like, most of this as well. It'll take a little bit of pressure off train pathing. Not a whole lot. Getting a little sidetracked. Let's wait till this is empty before we go try picking this stuff up. May as well just decon that. Oop. Where are you going? Uh, you know what? That's fine. That'll, that'll get itself sorted out eventually. All those contents will end up back at the mall. This one's empty. Very good. Very, very good. Don't need this beacon. Um, can I just turn this into a storage chest? Do we have one of those lying around? I guess we can do it this way. I 
There we go. So if we simply mask, uh, mark everything for decon, it'll end up in here. Nice. Um, we do want the trains to keep picking up these cargo rocket sections, though. I could, like, bring it back to the mall and have this autoloader deal with them, but it's going to be slower. Okay. Do we have enough bot homes now? We do. As for over here, that is not so empty. That's still going to take a while. Looks like we've got plenty of storage space for this stuff, though. Don't need no stinking beacons. Quite a few more bots here. Five, six stacks. That should still be okay. Theoretically, but apparently not actually. Oh, we've still got a lot of cargo rocket sections. Alright, we can come back to that. Are we playing catch up on AI cores? I suppose so. That's actually not surprising. Give me these cores back. these in here. Where is this going? Into the same container. Okay. Decon train is still busy. Um, we already removed this. Fantastic. Alright, so scrap consumers on Hagen. There's still two sets. Oh, that was supposed to happen. Yeah, we're direct belting in both uh, both directions here. That should be fine. Although I did end up changing this to not be scrap. Uh, do we really need this? Probably not. I can just leave it there though. Just in case. Alright. So where's our research... Oh, we don't have a research bottleneck right now. Or, or at least we don't know where it is. Everything's still working smoothly. Nice suit. Not that we care about energy weapon 13. I just wanted to get rid of a bunch of military tech cards. It's going to take quite a while to get rid of our old surplus. Are we prioritizing... Consumption of that, at least. 
Yeah, we are. Also, I left a bunch of random items on the ground here. So when we do run out of the old military tech cards, this is going to be broken if we forget about it. That's fine. How's Iridium looking? Oh. Uh... Not so good as I expected. I think maybe because we're converting it to plate faster, more of it's getting consumed on the ground. So we're not saturating ingots upstairs, maybe. Iridium ingot. Yeah, that is not a train load. Still got plenty over here, though. But if it's not saturated at the point before this, then we're probably slowly running out. It might just be temporary, though, while we catch up with... Oh, wait. I think we're now... Because we're converting it to plate faster, uh, I think we're now probably making way more speed modules. Which tier consumes Iridium Plate? Tier... Uh, four. Mm, hasn't really changed lately. Or was it like an hour ago? Game time. That I did make that change. It's been very consistent lately. Making the speed fours. Yeah, I think it's probably that we're pouring ludicrous amounts of Iridium uh, into Speed 4s. Theoretically 72 per second if we weren't bottlenecked by the previous step and the previous step. But not this step. So really it's probably more like 30 or 40 per second, if that. That's a lot for Iridium though. Okay. I guess we'll leave it running for a bit. I'm going to need a short break in any case. Let's set up some words. And go. Alright. Start words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
fantastic. Let's do one more, give the neighbor dog a minute to calm down. Okay, nicely done. Let's continue with Factorio, shall we? And what's our next target, I wonder? Why aren't we moving? There we go. That one was crazy? Yeah, it gets a bit much sometimes. We're still ending up with bots hovering with this. That's a little bit frustrating. Um, I guess we can reduce the request a bit. Ah, <sighs> thoughts. All right, what should we? What bottleneck should we push next? We're almost done with research. Uh, well, for this current research. Haven't run into any anything to stop us yet. It only needs Deep Space Pack 1. So I guess it's not that surprising. The next two are Deep Space 2. The next two are Deep Space 3. Why are we bonking? Mr. Astronaut, welcome in. Welcome in, Seaforcat. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Uh, and thank you very much for the raid. While I was taking a little nap. And the bonk train continues, I guess. How was your stream, Seafer? Okay. Uh, so since nothing's broken visibly right now, I'm not sure, I'm not sure which bottleneck to push. Maybe it's about time I added some more spaceships. Hmm. Oh, uh, this is just about ready. For the decon train to pick up the rest, right? Yeah. Right about here, please. And... Let's get rid of these old things. 
Get rid of this. Get rid of that. No more rail stubs. And what about this block? This block's going to be a while. What about this one? That is basically done. Cool, cool, cool. Do we still need to expand uh, Sage, I wonder? I think we did already expand it a bit. How many drills do we have on Sage? 18. We could do a few more. It's our only source of mineral water except for matter conversion. Planet size is 4.2k. Oh, we're still scanning at the moment. Where have we been scanning? Plato. Uh, I could have sworn we stopped scanning Plato. Oops. Plato. That's a lot. Uh, that, that is, that is a big boy of a planet. We still can't see the corners. But did we find any relatively low-hanging fruit? If we want to add just a few more drills. How many do we have now on Plato? Is it also 18? What a coincidence. Um, there's kind of this one. In terms of how much further we'd have to stretch out the trimmed surface, no, we really have already done the sweet spot. I don't think it's worth adding any more drills here. Unless we're desperate for more Holmanite, which is an easy scenario to imagine. I think I'll just leave this explored. Uh, but where were we just looking? Sage. There might be a few more drills for Sage. I just tried to drink the lid of my thermos. Delicious. How much mineral water is left here? 7.6 million. Mid slash late game space exploration is so satisfying to look at, indeed. Nick Knock, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I'm, I'm sure there's plenty that I'm overlooking, but it's starting to feel like we're running out of stuff to fix. Or at least for the moment. This could at least use prod sixes. Let's go do that. Probably already carrying enough. I could use I could use some more speed sixes. Let me in. Um, it's the other wagon for the speeds. Okay, let's borrow this train. And we wanted to go. The quartz. Do we need to refactor uranium at some point? I don't know that it gets much better. We probably don't need as many machines, but... Who knows? Alright, so we want 
separate sixes. Oh, these are sixes. Is there another build that we were just looking at? Yeah, here it is. You can go home. Uh, this is still using threes. And I really should have grabbed some beacon twos. Swing by here. Swing by here. Beacon two. Beacon two. Okay. And I presume that'll put in... Nope. I guess I'll just put the prod modules in myself. Is this already a beacon too? No, it's not. The bots are not jumping out to fix it. Oh, did we only bring like two beacon twos? Well, there's your problem. Do we have any more? We do not. Okay, could you please go upstairs? Grab some beacon twos. And construction train. Uh, wait for item count. For beacon two. Okay. Here comes our train. I could set it to inactivity, or we could just wait like five seconds here. That'll do. Down the elevator you go. Alright, so once those get back to the mall, uh, that'll get put in our train, which will come back here, which will swap out Beacon 2s, which means we can complete the build. I presume the belts can keep up here. Yeah. Alright, and we're already standing close by. Speed mod? Not speed nines. This build is not that important. Efficiency sixes. And... Eight of them. Okay, so how fast is this? Not that fast, as far as the belts are concerned. Actually, 34, and that is less than half a purple belt. Uh, sorry, the 27 quartz is less than half a purple belt for the input. That should be fine. Can I search for modules located in buildings? I think we can. Oh wow. There's actually still so many tier 3 speeds all over the place. Oh boy. This is just full of speed 3s. Bruh. I could, uh... Prod 9 the space elevator cables, since it's such a small build. We could probably do it all with one machine. It's hardly the highest priority, but... Let's see. Space elevator cable, consumption, last fifth... Oh, that's pretty consistent. 
Uh, last 50 hours is like 120 per minute. And I'm guessing we can very easily top that with one machine. Um, if we do an advanced assembly machine. I don't think we ever want to use our precious, precious nanomaterial and superconductive cable for space elevator cables, which mostly uses pretty mundane inputs. Um, in any case, with prod nines and a compact beacon, uh, let's say we just uses just uses. Like in English. Let's say we just use tier sixes for the speeds and efficiencies. Just one machine. 4.5 per second, 270 per minute, and we've been using half of that. What the? We have been using and find the key. Half of that. 120 per minute. 270. Yeah, we do only need one machine. And we don't even need any speed or efficiency nines. Cool. Let's make that happen. Uh, right after we finish this... This also uses two prods, so eight efficiencies. And down here, 12 and eight. Let me in. 12 and eight. It's probably super overkill already. And prod sixes in the machines. I wonder if I can get away with... Yeah, that's fine. Uh, if it catches us at the end of the stack, it might not put the prods in. I think we're good. That should be fine. And why don't we use our spider? So we're going to head on down to our space elevator cable build. If I can remember where it is. There it is. We'll get rid of two of these machines. So that'll always... I guess we could say it ha it'll have even less of an, a balancing issue. Uh, and we're only ever going to need four prods. And all of our space elevator cable ingredients will go further. Which is nice. Hey, we're on energy 14. We missed the dupa doop probably because we were in the editor. Nice -oo. Still going. Already at 2%. I don't think energy weapon damage affects shields. And we're pretty much exclusively using shields now. So this is just a, 
just a sink. Okay, so we're not going to need a wide beacon at all. Uh, we can ditch... the two side buildings. And be gone. Um, I don't think we need this extra storage. I'll just leave that there for now. Uh, and I guess if there's any of this junk left in my pockets, doesn't seem like there is. Uh, don't forget the compact beacon that I already deleted. So I'll have to double check the ratio again. I think it was like 50-50. Yep, 50-50. Cool. 270 per minute. This is fine. Okay. Back to the mall once more. And then realize that we want to come back this way and build something. Whatever. It's fine. Captain True. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Interesting to watch the improvements. Your last base was really struggling with UPS at this stage. Yeah. I wouldn't say we're not struggling with UPS. Uh... Sh Oh, that's a lot of tier three modules. Um, we're probably way overdue for a redesign for Enriched Vulcanite. Okay, so how much, how much Enriched Vulcanite are we actually using? Last 50 hours, 4.5k a minute, 5.5k, 6.1k. So presumably, if we can do 10k a minute, it's probably fine. Um, enriched Vulcanite. We need centrifuges. And prods. Uh, I, I doubt that we can get away with just a tiny build, but let's see how far it can go. That is already minus 80%. Because it's only two prod modules. Alright, so this is... Per minute... 151 per machine. So to keep up with our current usage uh, we'd be looking at about 40 still okay so we could probably we could probably do it all under one half block or at least one block uh, maybe we end up using exactly the same build just with better modules Because the individual machines are quite slow. Okay, so this is... 48. Uh, but we want... Prod 9s. I was thinking maybe with... Direct input... If we could pull off a build that needs far fewer machines, then we could save a lot of this circuitry and swap chests and stuff. But it doesn't look like that's uh, viable. There we go. Speeds. 
And how many efficiencies is it? Probably like eight, maybe a little bit less. Plus 900%, plus 200, minus 80. Okay, so how fast is this? Each column uh, in per second spits out 32.76 uh, enriched vulcanite per second, or almost 2k per minute. It wants only one, oh, it spits out 1.5 sand per second as well. Uh, and net wants 46.8 crushed vulcanite. Sulfur is still very slow. Um, and enriched is the enriched initial input is also going to be very slow. The net input. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure we could still use the exact same shape here. Just with better modules. Uh, and then and then the question becomes should we change anything? Cause this is a lot of circuit control. So all of these except for the green uh, insert, the stack inserters are on the red wire. Are we setting filters? Whitelist set filters. Blacklist set filters. Okay. Why are we doing that? Why would we blacklist sand? What? So... With the green wire, all of these are attached to the local chest. That's going to give positive signals for whatever is already in the chest. Uh, apparently we've been missing this one underground this whole time. Why are you, like, pointed at an underground that doesn't go into the chests? Oh, okay. I see, okay. So, so if there's already, what, 50? Yeah, if there's already 50 enriched vulcanite in the chest, that signal will come through. We want it to ignore crushed vulcanite. So never put crushed vulcanite in the output. Uh, always put crushed vulcanite in the swap chest. Uh, always... Always put sand on the output. Never put it in the swap chest. That's why that's positive. Yeah, that makes sense. Can we do better? If we store it centrally, we'd need a big loop. Hello there, Pospec. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. 
Have you noticed a UPS increase after all the rebuilding? Uh, yes, but then we also consume it sometimes when we add more ships or something. Okay. Oh, I know. Or do I? Yeah, we could probably... Could probably use belts for implicit priority for the swappy stuff. Kind of like how we've got inserters pointing... In inserters uh, that are ready to pick up beads pointing at these two machines. But these filtered loaders swap the beads back and forth so the recycled beads get priority as they go in so quickly i wonder if we could come up with anything kind of similar for this loop so we we always want crushed to be recycled we don't want that going to output. Sand has to go to output, and enriched vulcanite is the entire point. Uh, and we've got these three for inputs. Having three items for the inputs, and this thing is only three by three, doesn't exactly lend it to a nice clean... set of inputs with loaders. In fact, I don't know if it's even really possible to fit it. I guess, uh, maybe something like that. Does that still even fit? It doesn't. These would have to be further apart. That's no good. I guess uh, this could be further out. And that still doesn't work. If this was all the way out here... And we could underground that. So presumably that repeats. Something's not right here. What? Wait, what are you doing? What? I'm confused. Oh, I see. Okay, so we, we could use loaders if we really want. But the inputs are so slow, we'll just bite the bullet and use inserters. How fast is it for the crushed? Um, it's kind of hard to say because we'll be recycling the crushed. Forty six point eight. Okay, well, forget about that for a moment. What happens if
I think for the two items that we want to recycle, we'd need two belts, right? Yeah, the machines are too small for this, I think. So if this was uh, crushed, which we don't want as an output. Crushed Vulcanite. And that gets swapped back and forth. I guess we could like... Swap back and forth between the two machines like this. If we don't mind spreading them out a bit. How much do we need again? Enriched V... Uh, so like 6 to 10k. Mm. I don't know if I like this. A minute. 5.2k under one beacon. Mm. I think I'd rather... We could also always do some swapsies like, kind of like this as well. I'd love more snow here. Got about five centimeters left and uh, all the snowfall at the moment. I could definitely go for some snow right about now. Never seen it. And it is quite hot here. Um, I don't know if I'm going to... I really don't like having this many little circuits doing their thing just for the one build. It's going to be costing UPS. We could loop the crushed all the way back around. I don't think I like that. Because the amount of space that we'd need for it... I'd just have to merge back in. Oh god. Is this what we're going to do with the crushed? That, that could actually be kind of cool. And then... Would, would we need to loop back at the very end or not? Also, where the hell are we going to fit the inputs for... Sulfur and enriched if we do this. But it's mostly, uh, mostly crushed vulcanite that gets recycled, right? Yeah. I guess that means staying inside, <laughs> indeed. Sulfur is really slow in, sand is really slow out, and the other two need to be recycled, uh, and we want enriched as an output. 
Hmm. I mean, we could, like, stretch this out a little bit. Oops. That's a lot. So either we can dead-end this... Uh, I guess if, if we're going to dead-end this, we would definitely want to prioritize input from this side, right? Alternatively, we could loop it all the way back. Which might end up being necessary, but I'm not sure. Um, so that could go about here, and we would have to, this would just be for crushed. And for enriched, we could actually just do the same thing, but... I guess it doesn't matter if we input priority, right? Just output priority so that we satisfy the input first. Oh, also, God, once again I find myself wishing that we could have a soft uh, filter setting for an item. So, like... We don't want sand to go this way, but we do want to allow enriched vulcanite to go to both outputs, but prioritize the left side. That'd be very useful. But we don't have that. So we'd have to filter our outputs to enriched vulcanite only. And this would be crushed vulcanite. Um, and we'd obviously have to stretch it out a bit. If we're going to make room for sulfur input and sand output. But... I... I do kind of like this, I think. Okay, so how are we going to do that? If we're going to fit the same number of machines under a beacon, this might end up being a bit tough, to say the least. Is that actually as far as... It, it's almost as far as we can reach. Time to hydrate. Uh, I suppose we could do, like, a diagonal cascade thing, but we're going to run out of horizontal space very quickly. I could just... <sighs> we wouldn't be fitting as much under one beacon, but maybe we could just do... 12 per column on each side of the beacon. Supposing we are going to do that with our newfound horizontal space, how do we make sand output and sulfur input work? If we had a longer arm inserter, it would be very, very easy. 
how you are going to get sand from the centrifuge. Yes, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Uh, we could also just stretch this out a bit. Uh, something like that. And... Can't really fit a splitter here. Well, sand is super slow, right? No? Oh, that's per minute. <laughs> Don't scare me like that. Uh, 3.1 per second. Okay. So it really doesn't matter if we if we use a half belt for sand, for example. So this is sand. Just like that. Uh, but I don't think we could do something that looks similar on the other side for input because we can't fit splitters, in which case, partly to make it more readable, and partly for the sake of symmetry. Send. Uh, we could maybe do it like this. Theoretically, I could use one belt for both the sand in the sulfur input and sand output. Well, no, we would need. Uh, I could stretch that out a little bit and put two belts like this, but I hate having the inserters like swing through each other like that. I think I'd rather just put it on the separate sides. Okay, so this would need to be. Three tiles further out. And input for sulfur, like this. Let's get some power over here. And some simulated inputs. Um, and from here would be crushed. Crushed V. Um, and on the other side we're looking at enriched. Okay. And then we have to copy that pattern all the way down. Oh, and uh, so that one's going to be blocked off. Theoretically, I don't think we need to loop back the brushed to keep it working. This uses up a lot more space, but there's no circuitry involved. Consume. Just means we're not going to fit as many machines under the beacon. But we know we don't need that many. It does mean a slight, uh, it does mean a less efficient use of speeds and efficiency modules, but I'm not that fussed about it. Uh, 
That actually looks pretty neat. And it does appear to be working. Oh, how do we... Wait, 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 wait. Uh, how do we make sure the enriched that's brought in as an input isn't going to the output back to the rail system? I guess we do loop that back as a priority. Output priority. And does this reach all the way? It actually does. Oh, I like that. Okay, so something kind of like this. So all output goes back to being recycled as a prior. I mean, it already does that. Actually. Because all of these little outputs are priority put enriched in here to make more enriched. I don't think we need that little loop. Uh, so I guess the real test would be... Start with some arbitrary amount of enriched, say 500, how much goes into one of these? Just one, sure, 500, and then just as a one-off we put it through here. And then see how much we end up with down here, and how, how that plays out. Since it's a positive loop for enriched, it should run by itself when seeded. Yep. And we can also very clearly see where it's got inputs as well. And whether the recycle outputs are getting backed up. So these are filtered, right? Yeah. Looks pretty good. I definitely like this a lot better. Okay, so why don't we build a block around it? We're going to have the amount of stuff we can fit in one block, though. But again, if this... Uh, if two to four times this column can do six to ten K per minute... That's four K per minute. So we'd be looking at like 7.8 K per minute for one entire block. I can probably live with that. Do the K2 loaders fill up the input? Yes, they do. So there's 94 enriched in the input here. So it's 1 to 4, right? Well, I guess, uh, I guess it'll just keep going indefinitely, right? Since we've seeded it. And we're giving infinite inputs for the other two. Yeah. It's not like a ratio that comes out, it's infinite. Uh, if, if we're only looking at enriched vulcanite. That seems to work pretty well. Alright, so let's design 
a block. I don't know if I'll bother to replace it just yet though, since... We're basically just spreading out what we already did. The advantage of this build is it's not using a million chests and circuit wire connected inserters and like literally what 96 97 different circuit networks so that's gonna go about here Um, and there's only two outputs, right? Yeah, only two outputs. Also, I wonder if we can avoid this uh, extra container shenanigans with this version. Oh, uh, that's not going to go in the middle of the block. It's going to go down here. Could be a bit closer together. Okay. So, unload a station. Load a station. Yes. Um, so what were the inputs here? Crushed and sulfur are going to be on the middle path. I guess we may as well put a splitter here. So this is for crushed. Um, oops. That looks a bit naff. Uh, and the other one was what? Enriched is going to be doing the same thing on the opposite side. I guess we could do it like here. I do kind of want to run it through a splitter now. There's no middle place to put a splitter here though. It's kind of smelly. Alright, so that goes like that. And like so. Uh, there's only three three inputs and they're relatively slow so let's do our set filters blacklist and shift right shift left that'll be sufficient for the input we also need sulfur sulfur goes here hmm. is there any way we can make this part symmetrical
So sulfur like this. Uh, that doesn't quite work, does it? Because where are we going to squeeze this underground through? Also need sulfur from over here somewhere. Uh, maybe... Maybe we put this here. No, that doesn't help. I guess it needs to, like, approach from the sides or something. Uh, and this would just go over here. I guess that's not so bad. I can live with that. Alright, so why aren't the machines doing anything? Because Enriched is backed up. Good talk. What's our max rate for Enriched from one side per second? 65? That's decent. That is with maxed out modules. In any case, it's not so... It's not so fast that we couldn't maybe just use... Well, actually, okay, wh where are our consumers for Enriched? Do we need short trains at all? Or can we just use a splitter here? Ingredient. Uh, this is long train. And that's basically the only one. Oh, and these two. Yeah, definitely long trains only. So... Hmm... It might be more convenient if we swap these two around, uh, if, if we rotate these. So that way... Sulfur would go over here. And enriched. Enriched just goes straight to the middle. So these two would be enriched. Uh, okay. Delete all that for a sec. Clear the belts. That way it's going to be a lot easier and neater to do our little output. Okay. Can I move this in one tile? Yeah. Uh, kind of maybe. Probably, yes. Like this. And should be okay if we do this. 
like that that's not on the corner. What's wrong with you? So we got inputs on the outside, outputs on the inside. And these two just happen to line up with this splitter. I like that a lot. Uh, as for sand... Well, hold on. Let's mirror this first. Right about here. Um, we're obviously going to want to uh, enrich to find its way over here. Wait, can that reach all the way over here? Yes, it can. So I guess we could... Rude. I guess we could just merge these in over this way. Just like that. I can live with that. And then we need sand to find its way down here in as neat a fashion as possible. Uh, we could do a little curvy back the other way, which I was considering briefly uh, doing the same thing with enriched, but there isn't like a good spot to just merge it in like that. So, we could go here. There's no undergrounds in the way. That one goes there. This one... goes here. And why are you still facing the wrong way? These are all putting items on the same side of the belt, though. Why do you limit the input to two lines when both builds seem to produce two? Uh, each build only actually produces 65.5, less than one purple belt, each half. It just looks like it's faster because when it finally does start flowing through, it's com it's like, got a backlog coming in. Um, we probably already do this, but I guess I'm going to need to encoded network ID. No? Wait, what? I, I suppose technically it's possible that we've had trains looping up here. You belt the input to the output station. Belt the input to the output station. What do you mean? Well, yeah, that's what I was just talking about. But it's all super prioritized to go to the machines. And we can use encoded network IDs uh, to basically say, tell LTN, don't pick up from here to drop off over here. just have to 
Set one of those to one and the other to two. That should be an active. So this one can be encoded network ID one. And requester. Uh, encoded network ID 2. Actually, we don't need any fluids, so let's put that information over here. Alright. And then we just request these things. In theory, this block shouldn't request enriched. No, it does not it does request enriched. Uh it needs it to get it started. But it'll it'll not like request enriched from itself. Envian, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. After it's been seeded, it doesn't need any more. Uh that's true. Yeah, I guess that's true. I, I suppose technically we could remove, like, even these belts right here, once it's been seeded. But I think we get enriched. Like, the enriched has to come from somewhere. We get it initially from, uh, from breaking down Vulcanite in the first place, right? And that can just accelerate it. I guess we could even make it a higher priority tr to drop off the enriched vulcanite up here in the first place. Uh, just to make sure... Like, theoretically, if there was a, a, a shortage, which we haven't had that problem in a long time, we would want the enriched vulcanite to go to here first. Treat my block as crushed and sulfur in, enriched and sand out. Yeah, kind of is. Okay. Um, did we... Uh, the sand needs to use opposite sides of the belt. So why don't we just... Oops. Change these ones to near side. That's not going to copy, like, filter settings, no. Doesn't seem like it. Okay. Uh, and that way we'll use both sides of the belt for the sand. And then... Uh, and then and then. How much sand is this? It's super slow, right? 6.2 per second. We don't even need a splitter here. There isn't a better spot to squeeze it through. Nah. Not unless we move this down a little bit. This is fine. Uh, so we're just going to do something similar over here. Oh, nope. We can't use an underground there. I think I'd prefer to move that down a little bit. And then that 
does use an underground. That's fine. Wait, the whole thing is how fast? 6.2 per second. We really don't need that uh, near side stuff. Beep, 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 beep. Besides which, it'll use both sides of the belt over here. Alright, don't forget to connect. And then we just have to set some requests. Um, we should comfortably be able to fit 1.5 train loads of these three different things. And the throughput, the demand for each should be fairly low. Crushed is pretty fast, actually. On each side. 93.6 per second. Um, what's the stack size? 50. So it's like two stacks per second for each side of the block. Just for crushed. We barely need any enriched. Like, it's just to seed it. So I'll set this to exactly one train load. It'll only come if it's, uh, if it's been emptied. I will crank up the priority. Uh, sulfur is also pretty slow. 15 per second for the entire half block. So, let's say we want two minutes. But what was the exact rate? 15.6 120 seconds is all right so if we request like 7000 we'll have just over two minutes to get a train here if we want this running continuously uh that's 100 200 um, 240 stacks out of 640. So 400 stacks remain. So if we, if we request three train loads of, uh, crushed. Crushed Vulcanite. 15,000. That should still not come close to overfilling. Otherwise the input will clog up the output. The input will clog up the output. Not following. Okay, uh, so that is going to be enriched. This one is sand. And I think I'll copy the station name from here. It should be the same as what we want. Yeah. Okay. Are we using... We're still on tier 3 modules over here, right? Except for the beacons. And they're, they're on... Not, not on white beacon 2s. So I wouldn't be surprised if we can get away with just having one block for all of this. Um, even with the tier 6 modules for a while. First of all, let's let it run out. 
so it'll be easy to work with. I would like some nice black floor so that we're not going to be blinded. Wait for inactivity. Wait at least 30 seconds. And... And I think we're ready to blueprint. Let's switch this off, the requests. So we don't have 700 trains rushing in. The moment that we build something. And that's going to be it. I do like that a lot better. It's it's a lot cleaner, easy to look at, see how it's running. Uh, and, it re and it doesn't require, um, what was it, like 97 different circuits, circuit networks. All right. Tier 9, Enriched, Bulk, and Knight. Uh, get rid of the cheat inputs. Snap to 86.25.1. And... That's basically going to be it. Oh! We've got some rogue floor that we've added. Uh, I kind of want to get rid of that. Hurry up. How is it taking... Oh... What? Why is the highlight different? Oh, I see. It's just the robot network. Alright, and then replace the rail. Okay. Blueprint. Like so. Enriched. Tier 9. And snap to eighty six twenty five one. That uh, looks a bit better. Okay, let's put it down here, I guess. Now, how long is it going to take? Before this block is ready for prime time. Also, we should probably move it. Because we could put it, um, we could put it right next to our vulcanite processing, so that we could direct belt some of the crushed. What else does crushed go into, if anything? Uh, we need crushed to make vulcanite blocks. So it still makes sense to put this into the rail network. Uh, and we need crushed to make enriched, more enriched vulcanite. Okay. Uh, even so, I think I'd like to build this over here. So we won't be waiting until this drains out for now. Okay. Right about here, please. Fantastic. Uh, I don't think the train is carrying centrifuges right now. We're not building those very often. Oh, we are, actually. Still carrying thermo facilities as well. All right. I think it's going to take a couple of laps to build all this. Sans modules. Hmm. 
let's head on over. Hey, hey, Tyler Talks. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I be believe your blueprint has the cheat inserters still. Oh, that's no big deal. We can just right click them. No worries. Solovix, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again also. Oh yeah, we're going to need a lot more purple belt. We only carry so much in the train. Uh, also, I think I just accidentally put some tier 9 prod modules in here. Actually, oh, nope, there's, yeah, there's two. I was going to say, I don't think I'm carrying any. Centrifuge tier 6. Tier 6 prod modules, please. And for now, we'll just do tier 6. Uh, in the beacons as well. I need some more speed modules. Where's our train? We'll grab them on the way back. Now I won't be able to see how many it takes to get the right ratio. Okay. Don't you also want input priority on the enriched splitter? Uh, we have that. Oh, no. I, uh, no, I, I don't think it matters. As long as it prioritizes going to the input here. So it's only the overflow that goes to the next machine and the next, and eventually to the train stop. Give me some sugar. Thank you. And how many efficiencies are we looking for? Possibly not that many, with only two modules. Nope, oh, that's right. Eight efficiencies. Of course, we learned that earlier today. All right, cool. So what's our rate going to be? Eighty two point nine per second or five K per minute. Isn't that like. Just a little bit short of what we actually need for the moment. Uh, that's a little sad. I mean, we might need a second block. Even with the nines, eventually. But I was hoping to get away with just one. Where's our construction train? It's right here. We get some more belt. Uh, and what's the rate of one of the old blocks? Uh, seven point five k per minute. Way faster than it needs to be. Oh, um, I guess we don't have to, like, double to estimate, how fast is this? To estimate how much we might need. Yeah, this, 
this one block with tier 9 modules in it might actually be way more than we need for the end game. Because our actual consumption is a bit closer to that now. Construction train on the way back. 250, 100, 100. We are missing 341 regular belt. 200 undergrounds and just 6 splitters. Bruh. I guess I could take the spider back for the belt. If it's just going to be that. Now how close are we to emptying this one? We've already lost all of the enriched. There's a lot of stuff to move here though. Oh, I stand corrected. Uh, we should probably just let this run. Until it runs out of input. We'll mark it as waiting deconstruction though. Alright, so we're just looking for loads of purple belt. There we go. Are you running a higher science multiplier? Your base seems huge compared to most others. Uh, no. This is just more or less what's required to keep up with a mere three per second consumed science packs. Uh, we still need a whole bunch of undergrounds. Good grief. Looks like that's all the regular belt, though. I kind of don't want the trains coming until everything's going to flow just right. How long till the construction train gets back? Oh, now it's still waiting on purple belt because I stole it all. Nope, we're good. Well, kind of. Please tell me the construction train has underground belts. Uh... It doesn't, because it was waiting for a regular belt. Why are you like this? Just kidding, I know the reason. It's because the loader puts everything in in an arbitrary order. Uh, and because we didn't have this or that resource, the inserters just stopped swinging for the moment. Expensive builds, those purple unders are pretty costly, not really. Red Redarov, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Immersite is quite cheap. It's very easy to keep flowing. Oops. All right, that should do it. And Envian, thank you for the following. Welcome in, welcome in. That's not going to cross the spaceship, so we should be fine.
I love how far the purple undergrounds go. Fantastic. Okay. We arrive. And finally... Finally, finally... No more ghosts. Fantastic. Incoming trains. Let's see them. Holy crap. Oh wait, no. Yeah, there's like eight trains scheduled between the two of these stations. Uh, and I would say the other ones as well, but we already switched those off. Every, every station that shares that name. Wait, 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 what are you doing? What? Are you a vanilla schedule that we forgot about? You are. Your job is to move vulcanite core fragments up and down the space elevator. That is no longer relevant. Uh, become an LTN train. Easy peasy. Actually, let me just double check real quick. It does have... Equipment. Yep. Alright. Become... An LTN train. As soon as it parks... Uh, as soon as the condition is met... At the LTN stop, it'll remove its schedule and get given a new one. Fantastic. Okay. Here comes the final ingredient. Uh, or not. We're still waiting on en enriched. Here comes some enriched. Wunderbar. And we are live. I like the look of it, the way it uh, propagates. And then finally, the overflow will go to the output station. And LTN will not schedule a train from this pickup station uh, to one of these drop-off stations. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Kind of want to double check and see that the right side works as well. I have to wait a little while before LTN just happens to drop off the enriched on the right side. I guess I could just seed it. Just grab a little bit of this over here. And literally, this is all it takes. Albeit, it's going to be a bit slow to get going. Round and round and round she goes. I wonder if I could do something that looks a bit more like this for Coverex. What's the Coverex recipe again? In this version? U-235 gets recycled. 
238 in, stone out. It's pretty straightforward, honestly. So the stone is dealt with in the same way as the sand. Uh, it's even simpler than this because we don't recycle the equivalent to the crushed. So we're just recycling U-238. Or 235. Which is which again? Why can't I see it? Okay, where do I have to freaking look for a... for a uranium over here? There we go. 235 is the double plus glowy stuff. So 235 would loop like this. Uh, the other two would just be an, like a regular input belt, a regular output belt. Pretty straightforward, honestly. But, of course, it's not smart with super saturating the first machine before any surplus goes to the next machine. But once you reach a certain a certain threshold of abundance, that doesn't matter at all. You'll only have to do the bootstrapping once per playthrough. Alright, let's go back to the malt. And Spooder as well. Finally, we have sand, indeed. Uh, research has stopped. Finally, we can get a glimpse at why. Energy 4. Energy science pack. Is missing SIG data. Are we still playing catch up? Nope. We're missing Astro. Astro Insights. Which is missing blank data cards. Oh boy. Uh, blanks. Blanks are short on copper. Since when? That's an interesting problem to have. Um, blank data card. I just want to make sure there isn't some some container bulging at the seams with recycled blanks, but it doesn't seem like it. Okay, so what's going on with copper? Did we break it? Destination full. Huh? Wait, wait, what do you mean? Oh, yeah, freaking train stop limits. It got copied over from when we were still using them. Yep, that's the only reason. It's not a material bottleneck. Alright, so now we have to wait a little while for blank data cards to saturate again to see if... to confirm that there isn't actually a shortage of copper. Okay. We still haven't upgraded the last of these uh, copper builds. And then I want to do the same thing for the iron ones. Um, but I think we'll do that after a little break. Let's walk over there so that we know what we're doing. Oh. 
I say we take off and nuke the entire site from orbit. New Kagan? We're not gonna new Kagan. It's the only way to be sure. Don't don't nuke where you eat. Not on the same planet. How about what what can we still nuke over here? That is one resilient roboport. Uh, I guess we could get the last of these belts. Right about here. Alright, Johan Anderson. This one's for you. It's the wrong tab. There we go. Fantastic. Bakun, indeed. Hurdle, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good hit. Fantastic. Don't nuke where you eat. Sadly, moves microwave out of the kitchen. Oh no. Alright, uh, let's give it a little save. And we'll fire up the LTN screensaver. And continue the words on stream. Level 9. Spooky. Alright. We'll start the words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes or so. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Aziz, light!
Okay, sorry about that. That took a little longer than expected. Alright, we're back. Uh... Level complete, level 7. Oh. Yeah, we'll leave that paused, I guess. Alright. Where are we up to? We wanted to update that, uh... That copper build. We already failed level 13. This is another round. My bad. Okay. Uh, so, we've emptied out all of this, the sulfur's gonna stay in the same spot. Uh, why don't we move the... Where are we going? We already moved the dirty water. When we did this the last time, we pumped the pyroflux to the right, but we can't do that this time. Good time for me, good time zone, friends. Take care, Nick Nock. Thanks for hanging out. Um, alright. I don't really want to waste the pyroflux. I guess we'll just pump it in a bit more of an elaborate pattern here. Oh, we want to put it right here, and this is already pretty much empty, so... Why don't we just do that? And... Make sure there's not a drop left of this stuff. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. Copy the pasta. Right about here. And we're just going to pump it right up this way. By the way... It was over 130 launches without any sphere from asteroid field. Oh no. This is the end. Oh, was that how I was going to pump this? Well, this works too. Get rid of that. Right, uh, so we want to pick up all of this. Are we... Oh no, 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 no. I hope that's not too much pyroflux we're delivering. It looks like that won't be a problem. Uh, we've got an amount of spaceship floor to recycle here. No, don't, don't, no, no. How dare you. the nearby train block trying to steal it. There we go. Uh, Alright, so... How much spaceship floor do we need? The last build had... Um, slightly fewer, right? Yeah, we had 12 thermo facilities. This is going to be 16. We need a bit more spaceship floor. Alright. Let's get rid of that bit of belt. And... Copy, paste... Oh, whoops. Nope, 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 nope. Copy, pasting that train stop back there was why we ended up with Train limit zero shenanigans earlier. Looks like we can just decon like so. And just delete this. I don't care about losing a couple of drops of pyroflux. Oh, this is still pumping. Uh, I guess that's fine. We're not going to need this. We don't need this train stop down here. Scary. 
scary train is scary. Um, that's going to be in basically the same spot. The water's going to change. I think it's easier if we just delete the water. Um, but I'm pretty sure this is in exactly the same spot. Yeah. Okay. And then we need to make room for the spaceship floor. Also need to get the floor train back here. No. God damn it. I guess I'll just pick this up again before a train has to come and grab it. Alright. How far does this reach? About to here. But I've run out of room. Is this enough? No, we need to make just a little bit more room to be sure. And all the way back to about here. Yeah, that should be fine. Uh, put... Oh no. Put things in the spider for now. I guess the... The old modules can go in there as well. Apparently these are not set to be removed. Speaking of which, we've got the sneaky bots again. Alright, that should be enough though. So that we can place the floor properly. Control C with shift. No trains though. Why are we bonking? Welcome in Verzor. Alright, let's have a look. Perfect. But we're going to need some more spaceship floor. Hello, bonk, indeed. Uh, spaceship floor... I think we normally put over here. Oh, the trash slots are full. That's why. That's fine. So how many pieces of floor are we missing here? Four stacks. Two hundred and... We need two more stacks. Let's remove a little bit of rail. Fantastic. Park the construction train over here. And I may have forgotten to make sure the trains don't come just yet. Probably won't be a problem. We do need to make sure the wires connect across here. Like so. And... Oops. That one's already correct, somehow. 
probably because we already removed that rail. I don't think we did remove that rail. Does it let us paste these on top of the... No? Maybe we did. Alright, uh, is that all of our spaceship floor? I think it is. Let's get the hazard floor over here. And replace all of this. Green wire is broken? Uh, no, no it's not. Oh, uh, yes it is. Oh no. God damn it. Yeah, I thought maybe it was just that one of the wires isn't visible when both of them are connected here, but yeah, no, green wire was in fact broken. Should have checked that sooner. I did switch off the combinate. No? I just pasted over it again. I, I switched off the combinator here so there wouldn't be more trains coming. Alright. Uh, we do need one more trip for the thermo facilities because I forgot to ask the construction train to bring them. I think that was over here. Thermodynamics facility. And please take this off my hands. Uh, I guess that's going to be a little tricky. If I keep going shift C, I can get rid of a little bit at a time. There we go. And it looks like all of this is already done now. Fantastic. Alright, so we're just waiting on the construction train to come back. I haven't actually tapped this drill, that's surprising. Probably should have before we made another outpost. Uh, does the construction train have one handy? It do. I'll get that sorted out while we're here. Uh, how about just like this? Aziz Light, Ragamuffin, welcome in, hope you're doing well, good to see you again. Oh, that was easy. And it looks like our build is complete. Fantastic. So that should be overkill significantly overkill for the uh, copper ingots with much 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 better lack of need for high throughput fluid to go anywhere it all just goes straight into the machine okay So what's next? Uh, honestly... Might have to cut it a bit short for today. My sleep schedule resetting after being sick uh, has been a bit rough, especially without caffeine. Is science moving? It is not. 
Where's the... It's still energy science. What did that trace back to? Sleep schedule nonsense always sucks, yeah. That's been so, so hot as well. That didn't help. Uh, energy science. Oh, that's right. It traced back to no blank data cards, right? Because there was no sig data, because there was no blank data cards. Uh, we were, yeah, no blank data cards for the insights. We've got copper up here now, um, but it's, I imagine it's going to take a little while. This build is probably still fast enough to keep up with max rate for blank data cards uh, around the base, but it's got some catching up to do. What's our, what's our rate here? 2k per minute. And blank data card, last 10 hours, 1.4, 1.6k per minute. Okay. Yeah, that should be fine. Alright. I would have liked to go a bit longer today, but... If I keep this up too long, it's going to be a sleepy streamer stream. Let's see who we're going to raid today. K2 Sephanated? Haven't raided Sephanated in a while. Let's do that. Seth in a Ted. Okay. Thank you all for watching. Do take care. And I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of Blueprints if you're into that. If you have any questions or anything, by all means. And till next time, stay safe. See you tomorrow, guys. Uh, in this particular run, uh, a few hours, like, together, like, ten, he has played a little bit more. Yeah. But um, in other games and stuff, we have a lot of hours. He has over uh, 400.